Here's a few tips that I find useful when I am organizing my interviews in DaVinci Resolve. Using transcription, and markers, and clip colors, I'm able to take those interviews, break them down into themes, and have them ready for my edit. Hopefully there's something in here that you can snag and use for your workflow. Let's jump in. Step one is to create a master timeline for each interview. In this case, I've got Kara here, original footage. I go up to my interviews folder, and I've got a template here that I just duplicate. Command D on that, and I call it interview master, and I enter the person's name. So Kara, go here. I'll open that up in my timeline here, and I'll go back to her interview, and I'll drag it down to the timeline. Step two is to transcribe that interview. Go to the interviews, go to the master timeline, and I will click that button right there. Next step is to review my themes. I like to at least have an idea of what the themes are for this documentary. So I can, as I'm going through the interviews, as people say things, I can sort of figure out what theme that is or what bucket I'm going to put that in. And so usually in notes, I've got something here that sort of tells me what my themes are. Step four is to mark selects in your interview. So I'm going through the transcript and I'm looking for things I know I want to keep. And the nice thing is that you can read it and I can kind of skim through it pretty quick. If you need to hear them say it, you know, in addition to reading it, you can just click wherever it'll take it right to that spot in the interview. To see a kid that was excited about what could be and what the future was going to hold was something that caught my eye from him immediately. And you can select it. And then what I do is I hit the marker. So I'm creating the marker double click on that. In the name field, you can write out a note of what was said in that selection of the interview. And below that, in the notes field, you can write more if you have more to write. You can also change the color of the marker. For example, I'll use the color pink when I know for sure it's something I want in the edit. Go down hit marker, come over here, double click that marker. You can also search for something. If you wanted to search for a word, it will search for that and in the interview and then take you right to that, which is kind of nice. Mom was single parent trying to make ends meet. And the nice thing about reading the interview as you go through is that you're retaining that information. You're going through and making sure that you're listening to or reading the entire transcript of the interview. Uh, so you have a pretty good idea of what's, what's there. If you ever need to go back for something that maybe you didn't pull from a select, you can also do that. that pink because I know I probably want to use that and again that shows up pink over here so you can really quickly see again you can make comments down here like you know this needs to be cut down wanted to you could even change the these two colors to like a purple you know that these are you know maybe connected so you can give yourself a very visual look at what those two sections are so what I do next so this is the master interview this has got everything what I do is I duplicate this and I change the name of this to from master to select. So interview selects, SLX is my short code for that. And I drag this into interview selects. From here on out, I'm pretty much working in this interview selects. And after I've moved that timeline into the interview selects folder, I go into that timeline and I go through the marker ranges and I basically am going to eliminate everything from outside of those marker ranges. So all I have in this timeline is my selects. So I go to those marker in and I hit blade. B for blade is my shortcut. And then I make this section, I, I have command O set for uh, clip color to orange. This one, because it's denoted pink, uh, I have a another shortcut for P, command P is uh, my clip color pink. And usually what I use orange for is orange is something I know I probably want to keep. Pink is something that I know for sure that I'm going to want to keep. So it's almost like a higher level. Mm -hmm. 
once I've been through everything, you can see there's kind of my selects, and then I go up to timeline, select clips with color, default color, and it selects everything that is the default color, basically everything that is not orange or pink in this case, and then I just hit the delete key. Here's my selects timeline for this interview. And I can, I can see clearly what the note is about what was said in this section. I'm not gonna need to go back to my master because this right here, out of a nine minute interview, 10 minute interview, this is now two minutes and 40 seconds of the best stuff from this interview. But if this is a shorter project, like maybe you just got a couple interviews and you know you know, you're going to take what's right here and you're going to get right into your edit. You might even just duplicate your, uh, your selects timeline here from this interview, duplicate it again and call it something different and then start editing right here and whittle that, you know, selects down to, you know, from two minutes down to a minute. It really just depends on how big the project is for me. In this case, I've got six interviews. I'll probably put them into uh, my themes and I'll show you how I do that right now. This is where I like to use the stacked timelines feature here in DaVinci Resolve. I don't use it a ton, but this is really handy for it. So uh, you hit this button right here, you got stacked timelines. Down here, I will load the, I will click down in this timeline, uh, this bottom timeline here, and I will load up the theme that I want to work with. And that's, uh, you know, sports as a brotherhood, what it provides kids. And I've got some stuff already down here. And what I'll do is load my interview selects, Kara, the one I just went through. And I'll go through and find out, find the clips that, that are re related to this theme um, and what it provides kids. So essentially the, these two clips right here, I'm going to drag them down to this timeline. And so now I know that everything in this theme is about the sports as a brotherhood, what it provides kids. And then I can go through this theme and start hacking away and, and figuring out who said what best. And then from there, I'm, I'm off and running. So really, that's how I get going. I go through, I'm, I'm able to get through these interviews pretty quickly. I know because I've read through every interview, what's there. And I really, it's, it's non-destructive. So every time I make cuts, I'm duplicating, and then I make cuts to that so that I can always go up a level. And again, you can drill down if you wanna take your selects and make a select two, meaning that would be like another level of like edits that you get down here. You're taking, you know, three minutes of footage and cutting it down to, uh, you know, a minute and a half or something like that. Again, I, I'm always looking to improve my systems and my process. If there's something that I'm missing, or if you know the shortcut key that I can't find, again, drop into the comments below and thanks for watching.